you want to start your dietitian private practice, but there's one thing holding you back. You're afraid about copying other dietitians. If you feel this way, you're not alone. This is actually a pretty popular topic that I get asked a lot about. So I'm going to break that down in today's video. As a registered dietitian, you might have fallen into that comparison trap where you start looking at other dietitians online and feeling insecure. Or you start seeing people in your niche or in a space that you really like, maybe it's fertility or pregnancy, and then you're like, oh, I could never be that successful. I could never be that influential. I don't have a similar personality. And then you start to beat yourself up and you start falling into that comparisonitis trap. And I want to reassure you that that's normal. Having those feelings and experiencing that anxiety online is part of the process. And I want to invite you to be honest about your feelings and start thinking about them and then finding a way to work past them and really thinking about what your goal is so that you can rise above the ordinary and become your own boss. If you want to become your own boss, you're going to have to identify challenges and then work past them. Because if you want to be your own boss, make infinite amount of monies and help more people, you're going to be encountering difficult situations very regularly. But I want to prepare you and I want you to know that you're not alone and feeling uncomfortable. So here are some tactical tips. First tip is to find your unique voice. Now you could do this with some reflection. Start thinking about how you want to present yourself in front of the camera. Now, it can feel awkward, especially when you have to show your face, but each personality is unique and there's no right or wrong. Some people are overtly extroverted and some people are more soft-spoken and reserved. But if you can think about what makes you unique and how you stand out, then you can position yourself as your unique self regularly and people will be drawn to that, even if they don't share a similar personality. So thinking about how you can develop your personality and you can stick to that and be authentic is gonna help you go a long way. A tactical tip with developing your own voice would be to share a little bit of behind the scenes. So let's say one or two days a week you wanna share what you're working on or you wanna talk a little bit about a client experience or something you're working on with a client without sharing identifying information. That can be a great way for you to just start talking to the camera on stories or making a reel or making some type of short form video so that you start getting comfortable Right? So you can start small, set a goal to reach out or talk on camera twice a week until your personality becomes a little more natural. Now, if you feel more comfortable and you have to have your makeup done that day, or there's something you need to do to feel comfortable, go ahead and do it. Because at this point, the main thing is just that you get it done. And with time, it should feel more natural. Now, the next secret is to create valuable content. Now, valuable, authentic content is subjective. What I like might not be what you like. So think about what your ideal client, what your target audience might want. Now, if you're not sure, I'm going to ask you to talk to people. The more that you can engage in conversations about nutrition and about what people are frustrated with, with respect to nutrition, the better chance you're going to have at narrowing down what types of problems people are experiencing. So if you have a ballpark idea, let's say that you deal with sports nutrition, then you want to start talking to people in that arena to figure out what about sports nutrition are they struggling with? Are they struggling with an endurance sport? Are they struggling with resistance training and they don't know how to feel properly? There's a lot of different areas within sports nutrition, but if you start by thinking about that topic and then you create content around it and then you talk about how you were connected to that content and that theme, and then you're narrowing down how the content can relate to the problems and frustrations people experience, that's the process. Creating valuable content is not about creating content that you like. It's about creating content that other people want and you only know what they want when you talk to them. And when you go online and search hashtags and start looking and flexing your analytical skills so that you can start gathering data and really getting clear with the biggest problem that people have. The next secret is developing a strong personal brand. Now this takes time, so you might need to be patient. Now you need a clear message as well as a visual identity. Now I think both a clear message and visual identity can evolve with time. So I don't want you to think of your message as being something so stressful that you have no idea and it's set in stone. Just think about a, a general topic or an idea. And then the more that you start seeing clients and kind of getting more crystallized with your idea, you can get, you can narrow down your topic, but the sooner that you can develop a clear message that resonates with people, the better. Everything gets easier because you know what to make content about, you know what people are struggling with, and you're going to feel connected to that message even if that message doesn't have to do with something that you've struggled with. So for example, I have a client, Megan, who is a bariatric nutritionist, bariatric dietitian, and she has never had bariatric surgery. I've got another client who helps women with PCOS and she's never had PCOS. So you don't necessarily have to experience the problem that you're discussing, but you do wanna make sure 
that in your content, you are being authentic and you're talking about the connection that you do have. It could just be that you like that topic and you studied it in school and you happen to have this expertise and that's totally okay, but make sure that you're saying that and expressing that so people get to know you more. Time and time again, I see that dietitians who are the most authentic and real online are the ones that are getting the most traction. It doesn't necessarily mean the most likes, it means that people are interested in what they have to say. People find them compelling. They also find their content authentic and relatable. And if your content marketing efforts and what you're putting out on social media is sparking attention and people are interested, then you have a better chance of making a sale. So for those of you that are so worried about copying other dietitians and it might be holding you back, remember when you develop a personal brand that's unique to you and your message relates to your background and your expertise, and you think about talking to people and what narrowing down a problem that has to do with your expertise and the interests in the market, and you talk about your personality and natural tendencies that you have, when you start stepping into your own personality and you start owning who you are, it's not gonna, you're not gonna worry about copying because when you show your face and you talk about your personality and you're naturally who you are online, well, that's hard to copy, right? Because that means you're developing a brand. So the sooner that you can develop a personal brand and start connecting with people authentically, the better chance you'll have at not copying other dietitians. Working on your mindset is important and I help you gain that resilience that you need to become your own boss. So I wanna invite you to work with us. You can apply to the link in the description box for coaching and if you are on a budget, we also have a library, a membership called the Academy where you have access to our content and you can work at your own pace. It's a DIY membership. So I invite you also to join Academy. The link will be in the description box below. And I want you to check out this next video on screen.